to System Preferences. And choose iCloud. Type in your Apple ID. Click Sign In. When you see the Accept the iCloud Terms of Service to use iCloud, click I have read and agreed to iCloud Terms of Service and click Continue. Put in your administrator username and password here. And click Modify Configuration. Click Next. Now you can enable iCloud for the various services. Here, I'm entering my preferred email address for iCloud. So I click Create. And my mail client will be configured with that account. I'm also going to turn on photo stream. This means if I use an iPhone, iPad, or iPod Touch with a camera, all the photos taken from these devices will automatically be transferred to my computer. Back to my Mac allows me to do file sharing, and Find My Mac allows me to locate my Mac should it be lost. We're not going to turn those on just yet. Open Safari. Sign in to www.icloud.com. I'm going to set up iCloud by putting in my username and password. So I'm going to change the language, the time zone and the picture. For the picture, I'll use the picture I used earlier for my Gmail account. And for time zone, I'll choose Malaysia. And I'll click Done. Now, I'm going to go back to my email program and send a new test message from my iCloud account to my Gmail account. So just for fun, let's attach a picture. And I'll click send.
Okay, as you can see, I have just received the message I have sent to myself. Now, if I were to go to my browser and click mail, So you can see that the emails that I sent from my computer are also visible here in the browser. Next, I'm going to create a new contact in my address book. So I'll quit mail. And we'll go to address book. And create a new contact. So once this address has been created, it should automatically be synchronized with iCloud's servers. Let's check. So now what I've done here is I've entered in my friend's contact details and I'm going to click done. Now you will see that the earlier contact that I put into my address book also shows up here. And when we go back to our address book program, you will see Jacqueline's information also appears here. Now I'm going to create a new calendar item. I have a training session next week. So I go to month and I set up my new training session. So you can see here, it is now syncing with iCloud. I can still edit some details if I want. So after it has finished updating, I should be able to go to iCloud and see the same event there. As you can see, um, when I go back to my iCloud calendar, the event that I have put into iCal now shows up here. And I can make any changes that I want. Click the cloud and sign out. Quit Safari. So I'm going to click on iPhoto You can see here there is a photo stream button So I'm going to click on that And I'm going to click on turn on photo stream 
What I'm going to do now is take some pictures with my iPod Touch. As you can see here, the pictures taken from my iPod Touch are now appearing in iPhoto. I can also transfer a picture from my Mac to my photo stream and it will be transferred to my iPod Touch. You can drag pictures to your events folder to keep them. To enable automatic downloads for your apps and books, open iTunes. Click on iTunes Store. Click on Sign In. Type in your Apple ID and password. Click Sign In. Choose Preferences from the iTunes menu. Click Store. Select Apps and Books. Click OK. Make sure that under the Store menu, this computer has been authorized. I'm going to find and download Evernote for the iPod Touch. Notice that even though this is a free app, I still need to enter my password unless I choose to remember password. Click on Books. I'm going to download a free book. Since I have automatic downloads turned on, the same book will download into my iPod Touch. Using Keynote, Pages and Numbers on an iPod Touch, I have created a word processor document, a spreadsheet document, and a presentation document. Click Safari. Sign in using your iCloud username and password. Click I work. As you can see, the documents that I created on my iPod Touch are now available in the browser. I can download the document in pages, PDF, and Word format. Click Text Edit.
I am now typing in some text into this text edit document and I'm going to save it as a word file. You can see the word file on my desktop. If I drag this word file to my web browser, it will upload that word file. Click on the cloud and click find my iPhone. Any of my devices that have been registered with iCloud will now be located. My Apple Touch has been located. Click on the cloud and click Sign Out.